Today on Film Riot, we get into a bar fight. Welcome to Film Riot, the show takes mystery out of the effects and techniques. Go on some of your favorite Hollywood films, your host, Ryan Conley. And today we released our last action scene for our action month. This one is definitely my favorite of the bunch. And of course, we are about to talk about it. So if you have not viewed it yet with your eyeballs, go here or here. One of the biggest things that we lucked out with for this scene was the location, which was Alexander Gastown in Vancouver. They were amazing to work with and their spot was pretty incredible. So if you're ever in Vancouver, I definitely recommend checking it out. There's a link to their website in the notes below. We wanted to play with some intense color contrast, really pushing the look over the edge while playing off some ideas of the club and bars that most people already have in their heads. The bar felt warmer and classier while the dance floor felt more typical nightclub. So we do get that clash of the orange and blue, which can be somewhat of a typical look, but very pleasing to look at, and it was kind of the idea to go with something that felt more familiar, both of which played into moments we placed them in too. Because why not? May as well live it up, right? But I looked at this scene as five sections. We have the bar, then the first fight, the dance floor fight, the final fight, and then that last drink slash pass out. For each of these, I decided to shoot them specifically to match what was happening in that moment. Some of that was planned in pre-production and some of it I found on the day. To start us out in that first section, I went all locked down. This moment is sort of the calm before the storm. Our lead character, which is played by Trevor Addy, who was also the stunt coordinator for all of our action scenes, He's mellow, he's accepted what's coming, but then the bad guys show up and the moment he's thrown off balance, literally, we come off sticks into handheld. And in this moment, everything is chaos for him. He's like an animal backed into a corner. He's just reacting to what's coming at him. No control at all. So I wanted to visually mimic this by going handheld and following the action with a kinetic style. Action. What? Oh. Then of course he gets kicked down the stairs, which that was just Trevor Addy actually taking the fall down the stairs. He did have a back pad on to protect himself, but dude just threw himself down a set of stairs. Action! But once we were on the dance floor, things smoothed out again. We still have motion, but he sees the beer and forgets all about the guys he was just fighting. Then the moment the beer is thrown out of his hands, he grabs some control back, now fighting offensively instead of just defensively. So in this section, we went with the Ronin. We still have that motion, but all smooth and controlled. Again, mimicking what our character was going through at that time. But then after Trevor delivers two epic spin kicks as if it was no big deal, he heads back upstairs, which we start with a wide that sets up our ending. Our baddie is laid out right where our hero is eventually gonna end up. And we are locked down, but move into handheld as the baddie wakes up and we're mirroring the style of the last time these two faced off. We see that our hero has learned to put the drink down first, and we get our final conflict moment, but in the end, he still gets knocked out, but not by the bad guys sent to rough him up. Instead, just one drink too many. But this pass out moment was not scripted. It was actually ad libbed by Trevor in one of the handheld shots, but once he did it, it felt like the perfect ending and gave me a way to bookend it visually with a lockdown shot since the storm has now ended. And this is really how I try to approach every shoot that I can plan for. What is the emotion of each moment and how can I punctuate that with every tool that I have? And now we take a short break and talk props and such. If you're someone who struggles with tax stuff, you should know that our friends at FreshBooks have created ridiculously simple cloud accounting software that helps service-based small business owners get a handle on their paperwork. FreshBooks keeps all your cash flow details in one place so you know exactly what invoices you sent, who has paid you what, and what your income is. The mobile app lets you take pictures of your receipts and organize them for later, which makes claiming expenses at tax time a breeze. You'll be so much more prepared and way less stressed, and right now FreshBooks is offering a 30-day trial to our viewers. Just go to freshbooks.com forward slash film riot and enter film riot in the how did you hear about us section? Action. Whoa. Whoa. Lights. Why so hostility? Oh, I love beautiful. <laughs> oh. 
this scene, there were a few small invisible effects like hiding the back pad Trevor was wearing in this shot, removing a boom shadow in this shot, or adding some extra debris from the chair here. But a few things that I really loved and I think brought an extra level of life to this scene were the small extras that we added in to bring up the overall feeling of production value. Like the breakaway glass, which we got from an FX shop in Vancouver, which you can find a link for them in the notes below. And there were also two main things that I kept in mind while working with stuff like breakaway glass. One, buy as many backups as you can because you're going to want to do a few takes, but mostly because this stuff breaks incredibly easy. Uh, oh, oh, the second and more important thing is safety. This isn't real glass and it's made to shatter easily, but it can still be dangerous if it gets under your clothes or in your eyes. In fact, our stuntman Don got cut by it during one of the takes. So, you know, be safe. The second thing was a label for our beer bottle. Through a quick Google search, we were able to find a website that made fake labels that you could print out. Within 30 minutes, we had our very own Bammy Wham beer. We also have a link for that in the notes below. But the main thing out of all these three was the jukebox. This was an idea I had early on that I knew would bring a whole nother level of life to the scene. So even the type of jukebox and what it was playing was really important to me. If you imagine the scene without the jukebox in it, it feels like there's something missing. It's another character in the scene that helps plant a solid style to the whole piece. It's almost a window into our lead character's mood too. And I try to add that type of anchor as much as I can in everything I make. In the car chase scene, it was the talk of the duffel bag. In the hallway fight, it was that alarm going off throughout the scene. In each of these, it adds that little extra touch that helps bring you into the world that we're creating. But that's it for today. On Monday, we have our uncut onset look at making this scene, and then we're done with our action month. Of course, don't forget to check out our other episode on the DJI channel for this scene. We talk a lot more about how we shot it, and Trevor discusses how to throw a convincing movie punch. Link to that in the notes, along with the credits for everyone involved in making this scene. The team in Vancouver really is out of control, amazing. I had some of the most fun I ever had shooting something, and their work ethic is really inspiring, so definitely check all that out in the notes. I'll see you next week when I convince a eunuch to drink wine.